So, mastering the mix just brought out a new plugin. It looks like that. It's called Mix Room, and it's got very many pretty colors, and it is yet another EQ plugin. And today we're going to ask the question do we care? Hey, I'm Steven. I'm a multi platinum producer and mixer, and we're going to have a really quick, I mean, quick overview of what this plugin does and ask the question do we like it? Because if you're an artist, producer, or a creative engineer and you're putting stuff out there, I've got nothing but respect for you. So let's have a really fast look at what this thing does. So here it is. It's different. That makes it interesting. So here's how it comes up blank. It's got these targets. This is the first place you go. And of course you could use this on anything. It's got some pre-made targets, drums, guitar. I've been trying this on vocals just as a last refining element. So this is kind of an R and B vocal. Let's dial that up and see what happens. We've been traveling through the ages. We've been growing in different stages, but somehow, we're listening to an artist called The Living. There's a video I made about approaching EQ using this, and I'll put a link up there. This green line is now saying that this would be a good target for an R&B vocal. So if you double click, you get a band. We can change the width of it, how wide the cue is here. We can change the frequency by clicking on this line. And this took me a little while to figure out. This interface is unusual. Grab it by that line or over here. You can change what frequency you're doing. And if you grab it somewhere in the middle zone here, that's the gain up and down. And then what we can do is match it to the curve as much or as little as we'd like. We've been traveling through the ages. We've been growing in different stages. Let's make another one here. Pull that down a little bit. We'll keep listening a little bit, but I don't want to talk over the vocal. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different stages. But somehow, we can't seem to meet up. Let me just stop here and say the sound of this plugin is so good. This is something that's important that they've got in here. So if you click this, it measures the new level that you've created and you can move this fader around. We've been traveling through the ages, we've been growing in different states. And when it's matched, it will turn white. That way, when you AB it with bypassed, you can get a real sense of what you're doing because when you add EQ, it always makes it sound louder. And we all, all of us, tend to like the sound that's louder. And we can all fool ourselves. So what do I think? I think, hell yeah, this is useful for someone like me who's experienced as just a touch up or a safety net to have a second look at all these frequencies, or for someone who's not experienced, it's really interesting to see what a more industry standard or established kind of curve is compared to what you're doing. If you want to take a deeper dive, Mastering the Mix has a really good video. Of course, it's a promotional video, but it really shows you everything that's possible with this plugin. I'll put a link up here and they have a free trial. So obviously with the trial, you could jump in and try it for free. Full disclosure, I beta tested this plugin and I have a promotional copy. They didn't ask me to make this video and they didn't ask me to talk to you about it. They just wanted to make a good product. I'm telling you about this because I legitimately think it's a very useful tool. I think you'll like it. I mean, we're all trying to make it sound like a record, right? Go make some music.